I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the subject of today's short talk is how to forgive. Forgiveness is really at the core of healing when it comes to the psychotherapeutic process. It's a skill. And it's a skill that, at least in my own experience, no one really taught me how to do, even though my loved ones in society more or less expects forgiveness from me on a regular basis. The first thing I want to clarify with respect to forgiveness is that forgiveness is an intrapersonal, not interpersonal behavior. That means that forgiveness doesn't actually involve the other person. You can forgive someone without ever talking to that person again for the rest of your life. Forgiveness is an intrapersonal behavior. It's something that you do within your own heart and mind, and you do it for yourself. Forgiveness also does not approve or condone a certain behavior. Forgiveness is a skill by which you relieve yourself of the resentment that would otherwise embitter your heart as a result of moving through a painful experience. Now, the issue when it comes to forgiveness is that too many people get hung up on the specific behavior in question. They think, for instance, this person cheated on me and I would never cheat. So I can't get around the fact that someone will decide to do this. It's unforgivable. Or this person lied to me. I would never do that. I would never lie to someone. So I'm hung up on this specific unforgivable behavior. Now, this is what I would like you to consider. Instead of focusing on the specific behavior, try to shift your focus to the conditions from which the behavior likely emerged. Think about it. If this person acted that way and what they did was really bad, then they must not have really understood the consequences of that action, which means they acted out of ignorance and confusion. They were lost in darkness. They thought in the moment that what they were doing was good, but they were wrong. They were deceived by their emotions. And here's the key. I know what that's like. I know what it's like to be ignorant. I know what it's like to be confused. I know what it's like to be lost in darkness. And I've definitely made choices in a highly emotional state that at the time felt right, but I eventually came to regret. And I also know that I don't think of myself as all bad. So this person and I actually do have some things in common, some important things in common, at least with respect to the underlying conditions that give rise to poor decisions. I also remember that I was in a lot of pain when I made those choices. I definitely wasn't living my best life. So by making use of this perspective taking exercise, it's possible to transform anger into a kind of pity for the experience of being lost in darkness. We all know what that's like. And I don't think any of us would choose to revisit that state. And that's precisely the state the person I'm angry at was in when they chose to do what they did. Now, depending on the circumstances, you may have to do this perspective taking exercise hundreds of times, but it's something that you can meditate on in the privacy of your own heart in order to let go of resentment over time. And that's how you forgive. I hope this helps. If you have a topic you'd like discussed in a future episode or would like to schedule a consultation, please reach out to psychhackspodcast at gmail.com. Talk to you soon.